Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ollie Garrett, the president of Tabor 100, and I want to thank each and every one of you for attending our 13th annual Captain of Industry Gala. We are here tonight to celebrate the history of an organization that was founded with the purpose of making it possible for businesses owned by women and people of color to achieve the American dream of prosperity, independence, and success. We are here tonight to celebrate an organization that for the past 13 years has served as a beacon of light for those who seek fairness in their pursuit of economic equality while navigating the channels of social disparity. We are here tonight to celebrate you, the community, the members of this organization that have demonstrated an undying commitment to our mission and have kept the organization strong. During my tenure as Tabor 100 president, I have been fortunate to have a board that has always been there to support me. They have been steadfast, they have been immovable, and they are dedicated to helping me govern this organization. Tonight, we celebrate their commitment to Tabor 100. We're here tonight to celebrate you, our partners, who have invested their financial resources, their time, and their assistance. You have made it possible for us to achieve successes that have made a difference in people's lives. Former President Franklin D. Roosevelt said, it is a terrible thing to look over your shoulders when you're trying to lead and find no one is there. You have been there, and we thank you. We are here tonight to celebrate you, our youth, the torchbearers who will carry our legacy into the future. Armed with the power of education, they can strike down any obstacle that dare to hinder their success. We are here tonight to celebrate what I call the Pearl of the Pacific Northwest, Tabor 100. <laughs> to plan an event like this is not easy. It takes a lot of planning, coordination, money, and yes, prayer. The success of tonight's gala is a tribute to the hard work of the Tabor 100 Gala Committee. Please join me once again in thanking our wonderful gala committee. As most of you know, I'm originally from the state of Mississippi. Back in the spring, I traveled home to visit my Aunt Ozebel. While I was there, I noticed that her garden hadn't been attended to. So I decided I would go out and dig it, help her dig it up. Shortly after I started digging, my aunt came out to inform me that I was doing it wrong. You see, over the years, she has learned that there are two key steps that you must perform to prepare the dirt for a good harvest, and that I had skipped the first step. My aunt said to me, baby, before you start digging the dirt and preparing it for planting, you need to get on your knees and pull the weed. Otherwise, you would just flip the soil without removing the weeds, and it would mix those bad weeds into the good soil, and they would, grow, they would just grow right back. She said, be sure to get the weeds out by the root before you grow in good soil. You must be wondering why I'm telling you this story and why this is important tonight. It is important because 13 years ago, a seed was planted. A vision was etched in the mind of a young man by the name of Langston Tabor. A vision that an organization could exist that would make a difference and flip the injustice inflicted upon people of color who dare to start, own, and operate their own business. This vision was shared with another young man, Dave Tyner. It would be Dave that would carry out Langston's vision. He too had the audacity to believe that such an organization could exist and could grow. These two trailblazers set out to plant seeds of the vision 
throughout the city with hopes that such an organization would grow and prosper. And it, as they scattered seeds of vision, they encountered long, narrow paths and many who said it cannot happen. They spread seeds of the vision in rocky places. They spread seeds of the vision in shallow places. They spread seeds among thongs that choked them. They spread seeds wherever they could, but they also spread seeds in good soil. That soil produced a harvest of believers that helped this organization take root. The determination displayed by Langston Tabor and Dave Tyner to get this organization started is what has become the foundation for Tabor 100 today. Our organization has thrived for 13 years because we plant seeds in good soil. And you, in this audience tonight, you are that good soil that has helped us rise above it all. Those of you who welcome our new members with open arms, to the organization, you are rising above it all. Our partners who nurtured us with support for our programs and funding for our initiatives, you are rising above it all. The elected official who look after our well-being from Seattle to Olympia to Washington, D.C., you are rising above it all. Over the years, all of you have provided the good soil which has enabled Tabor 100 to reach a harvest of success year after year. In 2012, Tabor 100 accomplishments included partnering with four community organizations, Tabor 100, Howard Coin and the Hotel Association, the Sixth Region Dysphoria Cactus, and the New Black Arts West Theater to provide summer school classes for our children a visit to the other Washington to participate in a White House Business Council briefing, becoming a partner in the University of Washington Foster School of Business Minority Business Executive Program, engaging in a partnership with the Seattle Metropolitan Chamber of Commerce to help grow multiculture and small business, participating in the Washington, D.C. Senate Roundtable on jobs in African-American community hosted by Senator Marie Cantwell, a role in the coalition to bring the NBA and the NHL back to Seattle. The, this stadium will proje uh, project will create jobs for members of our community. Actively working across all racial and ethnic lines to draw new boundaries that resulted in the first ever congressional district composed of predominantly people of color plus four majority minority state legislative districts. The ninth con con <laughs> The ninth congressional district is an example of how our shared principles, our values, our skills, our resources, and our talents made a difference. Today, Congressman Adam Smith leads Washington's first majority minority district and is a member of Tabor 100. Today, we have representation in our nation's capital. While Tabor 100 has been able to accomplish many things, and is reaping a harvest for the community, our work is far from over. There are many people in the community trying to plant seeds that has a total disregard for our well-being. Some corporations have chosen to spread seeds that will produce jobs outside our borders rather than in our own communities. Some state government has enacted tough immigration laws that are designed to decrease the diversity of this country and kill the dreams of people who want to plant seeds for a better life. Many before us have reneged on their promise to provide 40 acres and a mule. Now there are those that are trying to enact voting identification laws designed to keep citizens from exercising their very right to vote. 
There are attacks on women's rights. There are attacks on financial aid. And we know that the rising cost of tuition will hinder the ability of our youth to sow seeds for their future. We at Table 100 must step in and help those who need us the most. Table 100 must pull some weeds, the weeds of bigotry, hate, and resentment. We must pull some weeds, the weeds of injustice, discrimination, and gender bias. We must pull them out. The weeds of fear, hopelessness, and apathy, we must pull them out. Look at your Tabor neighbor, everyone, and say, we must pull some weeds. Yes, Tabor has been around for 13 years, and we are rooted in fertile soil. But we cannot stop there. We must continue to plant seeds to endure that we reap a harvest of prosperity and a better quality of life for our community. Yes, it will be hard. It would take vision. It would take courage. It would take determination. It would take strength of character. But together, we all can change lives and dare to continue rising above it all. Thank you for coming out tonight.